Oh, I just can't stand this house. It is ugly. I need to make a list up of all the things that I need to do. Maybe multiple lists. Like, like I'll make a... Do something, a randomizer or something to select something, and I can do that as an episode. Fix ugly house. There. Yes, definitely. <laughs> that says it all. All right, this house here is fine. We don't have to worry about this one. Oh, except the interior. I'm going to have to do interiors, aren't I? Okay, well, we need to put that on our list. So interior, well, this house is fine. So we'll call it fine house. <laughs> okay, good name. All right, the stables are good. I know the stables are all good. Everything is fine here, but yeah, interiors again. I should have just put down one big interior, but we'll do this interior stables. Maybe if I get an interior one, I can pick multiple ones or something. G'day guys, my name's Zinkberg and welcome back to my Minecraft Let's Play series. I am standing next to a dropper. Why am I standing next to a dropper? I'm standing next to a dropper because this is going to be my randomizer for my list. I've put together quite a few things that need doing. There are all sorts of things that I need. Look, I've got all of these things. Fix the nether, clean up shulkers. Um, yeah, make we'll make the nether better. You know, there's... Find a black dog, I've got to do that. Interior stables, interior fine house. Use the palace chess. What? Yeah, yeah, it's, you know, do, it's just, just a, a random sort of selection. And I'm going to use this to help me decide what to do this episode. Now, I don't know how to make a randomizer other than I know that droppers are random, right? They are random, aren't they? Remember this order. Someone remember all of that. Okay, so we need to do a test. We'll just click that and a bucket came out. So that came from the middle in the top. Okay, so what if we do it again? Where's it going to come from? Where was that? I don't know. I don't know by doing that. Okay, in the middle, in the middle. It's not just picking the ones in the middle, is it? It hasn't changed. These things are random. Okay, bottom right. It's fairly safe to say that, that it's doing it randomly. It is doing it randomly. But I have more things than I can cope with with one dropper because there's only nine spots and I don't feel like that's random enough. So I have no idea how to make a randomizer, but I have an idea for a randomizer. I can put all of these in and then have it spit out something random, I think. Where would I build such a thing though? Hmm, I mean, I've got all that space in the palace on the top floor over there that I'm not using. Or I could, hmm, what about if I go, I could put it down in the cave with the farms, but that's for farms. It's not a farm. It's a randomizer. Let me have a think about it. I'm going to head off and I'm going to have a think and see if I can work this thing out and I will show you what I'm up to. Okay, I'm done. I have created the perfect randomizer in the perfect random creature, thing, stuff. I've done it. I've done it. Wait till you see it. Okay, now here's a hint, right? Because I'm not going to tell you straight up. You can see it from here. Well, you can't really see it from here. That was a lie. But you can see the location of it from here. But I've made it inconspicuous. It's not very easy to find, is it? It's also not very easy to get into. And I will bet that I'm going to take some damage doing this. Uh, I, In fact, I bet it so much that I'm going to put my helmet on <laughs> to do this. So let me fly off. Let's, let's go and have a look. Where is it? It's in the palace. No, now here's the thing. I was going to build it in the palace. But the palace is built on a diagonal, so that was making my life a whole lot harder. So then I thought, well, which one of the buildings should I build it in? Went with the observatory. Yay! Now, here's the tricky bit. We have to get... Oh, will we... Oh, no! Oh. There's, no, there's no way in other than flying. We have to try again. <laughs> Okay, let's do it again. 
This, we could be here a while. I might not get anything done. Okay, we're coming in. All right, all right. Here we go. We're going to get in and turn around. I smacked into him. Oh, that hurt a lot. Are you ready to meet him? This muscly little fellow. <laughs> This muscly little fellow is a random frog. What I mean, what better for a randomizer than something random like a frog? Um, well, a frog isn't random, but a frog in an observatory is kind of. It sounds like something from a joke, isn't it? Like, no, I don't know. But anyway, yeah, he turned out much more muscly than I thought. Um, I've left little bits of him transparent so that I can see that he's doing his thing if I need to. Um... I did the room. I sort of gave it a little bit of sort of a swampy sort of feel, almost sort of like even some spots with some little water and lily pads there and some azalea leaves around, lily pads again, more water. Look, some sugar cane growing. In some places it grows, in some it doesn't so much. Well, actually, it probably will grow there. That's fine. Um... Yeah, I just thought, well, why not have a little room where I can go to get this thing done? Now, in the back, oh, firstly, wait, to activate him, we have a button. One button. That seems very manual and tedious, I know. But one button will randomise this thing. And what I have is, let's look at the redstone. It's pretty technical. First of all, wait, we have the signal down over here which you can't see which is <coughs> underneath this pile of bricks why don't i just show you no it doesn't it's a just redstone it's a redstone line the redstone splits off in two directions one goes up the stairs there one comes into this room the one that's in this room has repeaters set up with the tick delays added to them it makes a little bit of a journey around up and it's going to go there now i'm not going to put the last piece of redstone in place until i have done the other part so up here the i like bouncing on the bouncy castles um up here the redstone comes up goes into some repeaters which goes into three droppers now in these three droppers we need to put our things sort of even why did i do that why would i do that um i have inventories with things in them now that's okay because these are all named different things so what we're going to do to make it more random we're going to randomly select let's say nine of them uh eh, is that nine i don't know that's nine if it's not nine it's nine now so what we're going to do, we're going to put three in there. We're going to, I'm not even really looking. We're going to put three in there and we're going to put three in there. Now what we're going to do, we're going to grab another one, two, three, four, five, six, and one of them's going to get an extra one. So we'll go two in there, uh, two in there, and two in there. And for the last one, one of them gets a random one. Quick, pick a number between one and three. Two, all right, okay. Two gets that, gets that one there, what? Iron farm fix. Oh, yes, of course. Now, we're not even <laughs> going, oh, dear, this is going to go so horribly wrong. We can get rid of our shulker box. We've got to fix up uh, Rando the frog. See, Randy, that's his name. Randy, because he's a random frog. Um, fix him up. Put his blocks back. Okay, now what we have now is we have those items in those droppers up there waiting to randomly be selected from the three droppers, which are going to go into hoppers, which come down and around somewhere. Where do they come down and around? Down and around over there. Oh, and down, straight down into that one there. That's right. Then this one feeds into that one there, which then feeds into here. And we've got nothing in here. Now, before I fix this line, because that's going to spit one out the front, we want to go over here and we want to hit the button. And we're going to hit the button just a couple of times. We're going to, because if, if we hit it once, 
like that. So what's happened, all three of those have fired once. The I three random items should have been dispensed from up there into the hoppers down below, down around and into this guy here. And we're just gonna look, just check. We're not looking at what they are. So there are three items in there now. We'll push it again. Okay, and boom. Now we should have another three items in there, randomly selected. And now we'll do it one more time to prime it up. We've got nine items selected. Oh. Okay, now we're going to connect the redstone back up inside. I'm sure there are easier ways to do this. But as I said, this is a complete zinc production. And oh man, I hope that works. It should. Okay, this time, oh, we're going to put his, we're going to put his butt back. Bat has yet got a tail. Has he got a tail? He has got a tail. Of course he has. Let's get rid of that. Put that there. He's got a little tail coming down, right? So Randy is fixed now. Uh, it's dark out and that's fine. We're going to let that happen. We are going to remove that item there from our inventory. So this time when I push this button, three items are still going to get dispensed from up there. They're going to come down and sit in the hopper next to that. And one item is randomly going to be dispensed by this at a delay compared to the other three. Right? So now if we hit this, we should be able to walk over here. <gasps> Clean up shulkers. Okay. So thank you, Randy. That was a lovely suggestion. That suggestion is now off. We should have nine in there. We do. That's good. Uh... And those ones up there still might, well, they'll still have some in it. But um, so that's what we're going to do. Doesn't make for much of a thumbnail, but I guess uh, Randy the Frog will have to be the thumbnail. Um, I am going to go and I'm going to, I guess in a way, this sort of leads into the um, using the palace a little bit. So um, I'm going to have a sleep. I'm going to come back and work out where the shulkers are and work out how we're going to tackle them and, and get rid of them. We have slept. We are heading back to Effendale proper, back to the area here. Um, I just want to have a look at this. So this room here has like a little storage section. I guess in a way I'm going to remove this. Uh, see, this is the problem though. There are... I'm, why am I, can't put shulkers in shulkers. What I need to do is just put... I, th I think I need to just go around all the places in my world, pick up all of the shulker boxes that I can, and um, and bring them all back to the palace and, and sort of work out how I'm going to... how I'm going to organise them. So, see, they're over on the walls over here too. Just random... But just Why don't I just leave my junk everywhere? I hate it when there's just junk left out there. Oh, there's more in there too. Um, okay, I'm going to go through. I'm going to go around and see what I can find and see if we can uh, clean things up. <laughs> okay, so none over this side. Let me... Uh, I There were some I was using for, um, for the mountain that I've forgotten the name for already. Well, that was good. That was a good effort. Um, I'm not seeing... No, none there either. Okay, no. Good boy, Zinkberg. You cleaned up after yourself. It was good. Oh, a potential. P peak. Potential peak. Potential peak. That was it. Uh, anything at the stables? I don't feel like there was. I'll just double check up here. No. Uh, nothing in there. Nothing over there. All right, good. Let's move on. I'm pretty sure there are some down here. Where did I leave? Oh, yes, over here. All right, and I think we clean up the crafting tables as well while we're here. These were all my building supplies, so we'll clean those up and we'll get rid of um, get rid of these as well. I think, so I'm going to have to make a trip back to the palace, put some of these down and then continue on flying around and see what I can find. Uh, might be an excuse for a bit of a world tour while I go. <laughs> we'll see how we go. Uh, back to the palace. Okay, we are in the palace in the chest room and I have 
all these shulkers here so I'm going to start putting them down over here somewhere I guess just randomly uh, randomly oh, it doesn't matter if they're random or not I'm just going to put them all down and uh, and then see what we're left with give me a second okay nearly done one there and there all right so that's everything I had there let's fly off we need to go around my world and have a look at different things see if we can find them let's put some rockets down and go Okay, before I leave this area, just double check in here. I'm, I'm quietly surprised that I haven't left any around down there. No. Okay, good job, Zinkberg. You didn't leave any chests around just for a change. That's awesome. Uh, okay, just head over here because I think there might be some... Oh, I know where there's some. <laughs> no, there aren't. I don't think there are any in here. Oh, there's no interior in here either. I'll add it to my list another time when I remember to do it. <laughs> okay, head back to where I know there are some. I'm surprised it's only one. Oh, that was the gear that I uh, lent to Millie. Okay, uh, let's head back to the tower. I'm sure there are some there. And because it's written into my contract, I must have shaders on when I come back to the tower. So, oh love this place okay but look see look at what a mess I've left just lying around this beautiful building and then I go leaving all these gray shulkers what a great idea to have them all gray too that makes it easier to define what's inside just by looking at the outside oh ooh, don't fall down there that would hurt a bit we'll put some andesite there uh, and that uh, are there any no or we could say hello to, uh, what's his name? Has it been a while? Zomberg. Oh, mate, how are you going? You got your potato? Well, let's go. We need to go over. He's such a good boy. Just walking around. Um, Zomberg was captured in one of the early episodes. Look. Oh, here he is. Look. He's so proud of his potato. He's dead. What a good boy. Got a lovely little house there, too. Uh, let's have a look. at Ooh. Mob spawns. I didn't know mob spawn. Oh, well, that's right. Yeah, yeah. When I redid all the thing, yeah, I could make it um, any other. No, <laughs> I didn't think about it because I did the soul lanterns. Um, I can make it into a creeper farm. No, I couldn't. That would be silly. Okay, let's head down. I'm sure there are a couple more downstairs as well. So we'll have a look down there. And uh, you know, at some point, I should get the beacon from here and take it over to F. And, uh, look at the beautiful sky oh did we have any that's right i wonder if we had any upstairs i don't think we did though let's have a look any in here no okay all right we're all good okay i'll go downstairs well i'm sure there are some down there everyone knows no better way to get down than to drop down and what have we got inside yeah see I think there is some around here. I've got a pile of two. Should I leave some here? No. <gasps> Look who it is. It's Fleabag. Hey, Fleabag. How are you going, mate? Oh, it's been a long time. I feel guilty that you're here. I should move you over to the other place while we're over there building. But you've got to be here protecting the portal. So, uh, yeah, you stay here. Good boy. It's not much of a life, but uh, that's what you've got. And I don't think I even had shulker boxes when I was living over here. Well, I didn't. So I, it's very unlikely unless I was picking something up. Uh, no, I don't think I do here. Maybe out at, uh, I'll head out to Aramore and just quickly have a look out there. Um, oh, look, there's a good spot up here to look at. <laughs> look at the tower. <laughs> look at it. Look at how beautiful it is. Oh, jeez. Cube Prospector would be proud of my sight lines. There we go. There's one. That's a bit better. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Let's head out to Aramore and see what we can see. And as we fly into the beautiful city of Aramore. Oh, this is so pretty with the shaders on. <laughs> oh, I need to check out at Westford over there too. Uh, I don't. Actually, you know, I don't think I did. I think I was pretty well behaved out here. Um, I was just... I needed to check because I don't know if I checked that the map had ever reloaded out here. 
pretty sure I worked around it, so it was okay. Uh, I don't think there's anything, unless there's something in here. No. Okay. And there's st all this stuff that I've got in chests. <laughs> oh, no. I definitely need all that stuff out here, so we won't be moving any of that for now. <laughs> Let me have a look at West. See, every now and then I think, you know, I haven't done a lot at Effendale and this world is kind of suffering a little bit, like I'm not getting much done, but then I remember that I've built three cities, I've done <laughs> done all this sort of stuff. I love the colours in this place, it looks so good, so good. Now the only place there would be them would be in here or in the next one along, they're the only two places I was storing things. No, we're all good. Let's move along. I think that's pretty well it. I'll go and check the uh, up house, the house from up. Oh, there was a spot over here too. No. Okay. Good. Good boy. Zinkberg has done well. Uh, I'll check the house from up and uh, and I think that's it. There's not going to be any anywhere else. Yeah. And then I'll head back. Ouch, burnings, burnings. I hate this place so much. Why didn't I finish doing that? Why didn't I pick this one first? <laughs> Fix the nether. <laughs> I hate it so much. There's a blaze up there. There's a skeleton back there shooting at me. Everything's wrong. Oh, don't. If I shoot a piglin, my life is over. I'm just... That's it. I'll just log off if I do that. Okay, that heads back to the tower. We don't want to go that way. This way. This way. All right, back to Effendale. All right. We have made it back safely. Uh, I will get these down and then I've got to work out how I'm best going to sort all of these. So I've got all of these here. Um, I'll put them all down and then work out how I'm going to sort everything out. I, I really don't have much of an idea at this point. So yeah, let me have a think. All right, so I have emptied my inventory totally to start moving things around and I've just had a thought. I still really don't have a great plan for this. I don't know how you guys do it. Um, so yeah, there's all my stuff. Like I've created a new problem by adding another shulker to the problem. <laughs> so how do we do this, right? So if we go over here, look, the first thing is there's dirt in here, okay? I always put dirt first. I don't know why. I get masses of it. I use it a lot. I like to know where it is. I sort of, yeah, that and stone and those sorts of things I want to have along the beginning, you know. Mycelium, you know, everybody needs mycelium right near, right near the front. That's really important. I don't know why I did that. Anyway, yeah, I'm going to need three double chests of mycelium. That's going to happen. Uh, okay, so what I need to work out is what am I going to put in all of them? What sort of order am I going to do it? How am I going to label it? There are chests everywhere in here. Really, I don't know. If I just like grab from a shulker and say, all right, what's in here? All right, we've got cobblestone. So where's cobblestone going to go? It'll go probably in that one, right? And then... What if I get, what if the next thing is a totem of undying? I'm not going to put that next. It could be 34 chests down there somewhere. I'm going to have to just do this as I go and sort of work it out and see what I can come up with. I think that's the best bet. Yeah, dirt's definitely going to stay there. How am I going to label them? Maybe I could just like put one, I could just put one down. Like, look, here are my dirty ones. Dirty, my dirty chest is my dirty chest. Okay, I'll be right back. Be right back was an uh, a bit of a overstatement for what I was actually going to end up doing, which is basically finishing everything and uh, and coming back with everything all done. Um, I think I've got it in a place that I can sort of work out where things are going, as I am proving to you now by only putting one of those in the chest and leaving myself two in my inventory. Um... That is not what I meant to do, and I will fix that in a minute. But basically, you know, I've got I've got this thing. When am I going to use a banner pattern? Why don't I just throw it out? I should just throw that out. But I've sort of gone along, and I've got this idea of, in my head, what makes sense, right? So so I've got, you know, weapony things, arrows and things like that that I can put in here, and in the middle there, tools and weapons and stuff, so I can, you know... That, that makes sense to me to have a water bucket in there. I would go there to look for it. Um, 
Let me... I can't do it with this organised this way. Let me have a sleep and uh, and then talk a little bit about what I've done. I am still realistically organising as I go. <laughs> so, yeah, so you can see what I'm sort of up to here, right? I, I just wanted things placed in a place... Oh, by the way, 31 shulker... Random things in shulker chests just left lying around in my world. And of the ones I found, I'm pretty sure this is most of them. Um, I wonder if I should grab... No, that's all right. So, and I've gone and labelled them like this. Now, here's a problem. I labelled them from this direction. So you can see coming down like this what they are. I feel like I should have labelled them from here. <laughs> no, no. It's got to be the front. It's got to be the front like that. I'll keep telling myself that. Anyway, you can see what I've done. Dirt and grass and other things and, you know, different stone types and stuff. And then I've gone with like, um, yeah, these, I'm going to have lots of stone and lots of stone bricks and things like that. That I use a lot of the stone bricks, so they'll all sort of go down here. The second chest, I'm trying to put like different variants in. So slabs there, stairs there, like mossy stuff there you, you get the idea right with all of the tough and diorite and all of those things as we head down you know I've got heaps of stuff here and it makes sense to me and that's all that really matters so as long as I've got a system that's working I've left gaps occasionally to put things in you know I've got iron there redstone food all different food stuffs that yeah you know yeah, as I said, armor, tools, and then arrows and stuff. Diamonds. A whole three double chests full of diamonds that I, that I don't need. Emeralds. Apparently, I've got an emerald chest. <laughs> you can see, you get what I mean. On this side over here, more the building materials and decorations and things is what I thought. So I've got like wood types up the top here, and they'll have all the different variants and, you know, coming down. Shulkers there that I haven't done that yet. And, you know, mob drops and things like that. Just all the stuff that I'm... I sort of think belongs on the right hand side. Anyway, look, this is not a very entertaining episode and I'm sorry about that, but this is what I'm doing. I'm just sorting stuff out. This is hours and hours and hours of work that I've done. So, and it's not my fault, it's Randy's fault. Actually, you know what? I've got about another half hour to go. How about I go back down to Randy, maybe pick another one and see if we can do that in half an hour. Hang on a second. All right, spin around here, and can I? Yes, first time every time. That was perfect. All right, so <laughs> all we're going to do, we're just going to hit the button, and then we're going to get another thing, and we're going to see if we can get this done in half an hour. If it's a nice, easy one, we'll get this done. Uh, what have we got? Uh, make the nether better. No. <laughs> no, that'll be next episode. Congratulations. We have a whole episode that is just me doing shulker boxes. Let's head back up over here and... Uh, <laughs> no, where am I going? I don't know. <laughs> I didn't do any builds or anything. What a great episode. Maybe we can... Let's... We'll go back in and say goodbye from, from the muscly frog, Randy, and from myself... <laughs> Thank you all. Uh, guys, you know the drill. Uh, love you all to death. Thank you so much for joining me. You guys are the best. Thank you for all your support. Uh, next week we have another Craftworks episode. Let me take that off because it distracts me there. Now you can see my pretty face. Uh, have a great week, guys. And from me and Randy the Frog, uh, goodbye. Bye. Bye. See ya. <laughs>